let's now go ahead and explore how we can modify and change these environment variables in OSX. So I have my Mac Pro here, uh, depending on what operating, what version of OSX you're in, this might be a little bit different, but I'm running 10.10 .10 and I'll be showing you this demo here on how to find where these variables are located, how to create these variables, how to list these variables, and how to assign these variables and how to remove these variables. Again, it is just a variable, it is just a value that you can modify in, in order for you to be able to use it throughout your application. So these variables can be found in a couple of different locations here. Um, again, you have your user-based variables and you have your system-based variables. I'm not going to be modifying any of the system-based variables. What I'll be showing you here is the user variables because those are the most common that you'll probably modify in your development environment. So let's go over to my Mac and see if we can go ahead and work with these variables in my Mac and the easiest way to, to modify these variables is to uh, open up the terminal uh, depending on, on, on what version of OS X you're in. The, this can be done a couple ways. The easiest way to do it is with Spotlight and the way you can open up Spotlight is by doing command spacebar on your keyboard and typing in terminal. And this will bring you up a window similar to this one here. And what you want to do is we want to go ahead and modify a file and the file that we want to modify is called the bash or the bash profile. So if you do a less dot bash profile, this will show you a file here. And as you can see, there's nothing in there. It just says end because this file is empty. We don't have any variables stored there. So I want to go ahead and create a variable and I want to create this variable just with my name and Let's see if we can go ahead and do this. So the easiest way to do this is if we do echo and we want to echo out something and we want to append it to this file here called bash profile. And what we want to echo here is we want to go ahead and echo out the variable name. So the way we would do this, export, and you want to go ahead and save the variable name. Again, by convention, we typically use uh, all uppercase letters. So I'm going to say name and I'm going to say equal to my name. Now this is going to go ahead and again echo out this value and put it into that bash profile uh, file. As you can see nothing really happened. Um, but we went ahead and actually exported out this uh, file and we, we can tell the terminal about these changes by doing a source dot bash profile. This goes ahead and tells the terminal about these changes. So now if you do echo um, dollar sign name, this is going to go ahead and print out uh, the name that we have set for it. Again, the echo command prints it out into the terminal. The dollar sign tells the Unix operating system, hey, this is a variable. Don't just echo out name back to me. So if I click enter, as you can see, I have Rick Hernandez. And now if we open up a new terminal and we say the same thing again, echo dollar sign name, we get Rick Hernandez because we have officially created a user profile that has a, a variable name equal to name, which is Rick Hernandez. Now, if the way you, if you want to go ahead and list out all the environment variables that are available to you, you can do a simple NV command. And so show you uh, all the environment variables that are, are available to you. And you can do a couple things here. As you can see here, you can see there's a couple environment variables here being used. Um, and the one we're looking for here is name. You see? Name is equal to Rick Hernandez. <clears throat> that is the variable that we created and that we have uh, echoed out. Now, the last thing here is we want to go ahead and remove that variable name um, Rick Hernandez. And the way you would do this is you would actually have to edit out that file, which is the bash dot profile, bash underscore profile. And you can do this with your uh, favorite text editor. And as you can see here, here is that name equals Rick Hernandez. And the way you want to do this is you want to just delete that line, save that file and close your text editor. Now that I have saved it again, just tell the terminal that, Hey, I have made a change. Great. Pull up a new terminal and do echo name and we should get back nothing because obviously we have removed it. So that's it. That's all there is to working with environment variables. Again, this can become a more complex uh, topic and you will find with time you'll be able to modify these variables to fit your application.